Good morning, friends. Today is part one of a video where I am getting ready to set up my vision board. So what I'm showing here is I'm opening the Sprocket app. I have an HP Sprocket. That's that little black box off to the side. It's very easy to use. It connects to your device, either your phone or your tablet. And all you do once you've paired the device to your phone or tablet is to go in and choose the picture you want to print. And then that little center button is a print button. And so it will start to print out the photos that you've selected. It prints pretty slowly. And if the, I've noticed if the printer paper is older, it may come out with lines on it. But this is a new pack of printer paper, so it's printing quite well today. The paper from the HP Sprocket is a zinc photo paper. It's two by three, and it is a sticker on the back, which I really like. It's great for planners. It's great for printing images of books that you've read to put in your planner. I'm going to use it for my vision board. Um, so this year I'm going to be using my planner as a bit of a memory collector as well. And I think the Sprocket is going to be a great tool. You always run out of photo paper, and it's very easy to just change it out. All you have to do is open up the back, it just lifts off, and then you put your paper in. There's a blue piece that you put face down, and then you just press the back back on, and you're good to go. Now it's time to cut out some images. I have a variety of magazines here. I have a Flow, a few Bella Grace magazines, and a book specifically for creating vision boards. And I'm going to be just looking through, taking my time, and cutting out the words and phrases and images that really speak to me. The next magazine I'm going to go through is a Flow. Flow is an international magazine. I believe it's from the Netherlands. This is the only one I have because they're quite expensive because they're imported. The thing I like about Flow is that it's full of illustrative art. It has a centerpiece that has scrapbook paper. This one had a This Book Longs to stickers, cards. So it comes with a lot of extras. But because it's imported, I think it's about $20. So I do enjoy looking at them when I go to the bookstore if they have it. I don't always find it anymore, but I haven't purchased any additional ones. I've had this one, I think this was from 2015. 
So it's definitely time for these magazine images to have a new life in my vision board. The last book I'm going to go through is a vision board book specifically for creating vision boards. This is from a small print house called Free Period Press. They make some really interesting things. They do a vision board book for kids. They have some really thought provoking workbooks like a seven day social media detox or looking forward, looking back for the new year. And they also have some really cute stickers. So. I got this from them last year to create vision boards as a family and as you can see it works really great. I love how each page is a color story. I find that very satisfying and also the back of each page on the left as you can see is just a large image so you don't have to worry about what you're cutting out anything being on the back. So now that I pulled out all my favorite papers and images, I'm going to start cutting them out. I pulled out my paper cutter. This is a Carl paper cutter. If you look on Amazon, it is quite expensive. I'll link it below, but I went through so many paper cutters before I got the Carl. I do art prints sometimes. I do a lot of watercolor paper trimming and I would always get rough edges or uneven edges. And I have had this Carl I saw on Amazon last night when I looked it up uh, since 2014. And it is still going strong. It was recommended to be to me by my mother. So if you're looking for a paper cutter that is maybe more of an investment that will last, I definitely recommend this one. So now I'm just going to start to wrap up, finish trimming the last few pieces and clean my area. If you enjoyed this video, you found it relaxing and you would like to see part two where I assemble my vision board, please hit subscribe to be notified of the next video. I made this on New Year's Day. It was such a great New Year's Day activity. So calming and relaxing. 